people don't even understand how idiotic you sound to yourself. Uh, anytime somebody says that they're a libertarian, I kind of chuckle to myself because they have no, they believe liberty means that you can do any damn thing that you want. And that's not what liberty means. It's not what it means. Uh, you still have a responsibility not only to yourself and your community, but to your to your nation as a whole, or you know, even if that nation is just a, even if you just go back in time to when we only had city states, didn't have whole countries, you just had city states. Well, as a citizen of that city state, you still had an obligation and a duty to your fellow citizens of that city state, uh, which means you don't don't get to do with any, anything that you want. It's not what liberty is. Liberty is about everybody enjoying uh, all, all that there is to offer. Uh, that there is offered by that community or civilization, and everyone gets an equal chance to enjoy it without being unduly interrupted by somebody else and without you stepping on somebody else's right to also enjoy all of that that the civilization has to offer. Uh, So in other words, you don't get to do anything you want. That's not what liberty is. Liberty is that you get to to enjoy your, your freedom and your desires, as long as it doesn't interfere with somebody else's. I know some people say, well, uh, you know, uh, then, then I can be gay. Well, technically speaking, from a non, non-religious non standpoint, yes, you can, as long as you're not getting in the way of somebody else. In other words, you can't force somebody else to accept you. That's 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 not liberty. And, and don't don't even get me started on, on gay marriage. There are so many problems with that. It, it's just it, but we've been through it. And right now, the right now, the law of the land says that that gays can get married. And basically what the Supreme Court did is they did something else. They rewrote something. Uh, they've been rewriting stuff a lot lately, and, and they just rewrote the definition of marriage. No, what we never, you know, basically this country basically did not say that you didn't have a right to to cohabitate, that you didn't have the right to be uh, to become a quote unquote legalized couple, uh, but you just couldn't get married because marriage meant man and woman, woman, plain and simple. And it has been historically viewed as such throughout the eons. And I know some people come around and say, well, there are Native American tribes that... No, there were no Native American tribes that held homosexuality to a high standard. They did not. So knock it off. And I bristle when people say that about Native Americans. Oh, yeah, the Cherokee, man, they they celebrate... I'm part Cherokee, and there's nothing in the Cherokee history or legend or lore that says that they upheld and had homosexual uh, uh, parties and, and ceremonies. That's just a bunch of bunk. Where are you coming up with this garbage? They did not. Yeah, sure, there were some civilizations in, in, in ancient lore. Uh, even, even the ancient Greeks didn't uphel, uphold gay marriage. Even though it was, well accept, it was a well-accepted practice back in that day. That's got to tell you something. Hey, you know, you can you can go around, you know, ancient, the ancient Greeks were basically saying, you know, well, we could you could take young men and young boys and, and put them with middle aged men and old 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 men and and teach them the ways of life and sex and have fun and all that kind of stuff. But you can't marry them. No, no, no mar- marriage back then was still between a man and a woman. Just saying. Even even in uh, uh, ancient Rome. Yeah, there. So this whole notion that they that they put homosexuals on a pedestal is I, I don't know where they're getting this stuff from. I mean let let's be accurate with history at least, shall we? Um, look, I, I'm not I'm not I, I know in, in some circles in this country that what I just said would be construed as hate speech. Oh, you're 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 just a homophobe. No, I'm not. I'm not scared of homosexuals at all. I'm just telling you what the truth is. And when you start labeling everything that you disagree with as some sort of phobia, 
Well, now you start to I- I- impede on other people's liberty. And that's you're not allowed to do that. You don't have the right to do that. You just do not have the right to do that. And by the way, marriage is not a government thing. Do you do do you do does a LBGT PDQ XYZ? You know, there was somebody on Twitter that was telling me all uh, they were talking. Today is um, the reason why I bring it. Today is is uh, heterosexual Pride Day. Did you know that? I'd never heard of such a well. I don't know why we can't uh, why heterosexuals can't have a Pride Day. I mean, homosexuals have a well. It's, it's not homosexual Pride Day anymore. It's not gay pride. They call it gay pride day, but it's not gay pride day anymore. It's 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 L B G T Q P X Y Z Q C I whatever. I just say we just call it A B C D E F G H. We'll just cover everything. We just use the entire alphabet. Uh, because I, might as well come up with something. They, they they come up with something different to, in order to. To separate, they want to be inclusive. Did you do you do you understand this? Uh, the original LGBT community said that they wanted to be treated like everybody else. They wanted to be inclusive. They wanted to be thought of as no different from anybody else. You know, love is love. And every time I turn around, there's a new label being placed upon these people who place it upon themselves. Who originally used to say, "Well, I don't like labels." Well, they don't like labels so much that they've come up with, you know, a dozen of them. You know, I, I, I'm I'm pansexual or omnisexual or cisgender. I still don't know what the heck a cisgender is. I'm confused on that one. I don't. I wouldn't pan pansexual and omnisexual be bisexual. I mean, there's only two sexes. I mean, really. So I don't know what the, all the other descriptors are for. I, I'm trying here, folks, but I just don't get it. Because they keep saying, well, I don't like labels. Well, if I'm going to be labeled, then I'm go- I want to be labeled as, as a cisgender. Well, what is that? And why is it that they always forget the asexuals? You know, the people that really do not have a desire for sex at all. There are people out there like that. They're, they're called asexuals. No, they really don't. I, I don't. I don't know if it's a medical issue or if it's just a, a mind issue, mental issue that they just they they've grown up and decided they they really are not that interested in sex, and they don't really have any. Some of them actually don't like it when they do have it, so they don't have any. I. So why aren't they included? Oh, because they don't like sex. I, 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 you know, they're not attracted to either sex. You know, if you're an asexual male, you're not attracted to another male or or a female. You're just not interested. And if you're an asexual female, you're not attracted to females or males. You're just not interested. Now, I know some people th- say it's you know it's 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 a it's a it's a medical condition. Well, I don't know if it's medical or not. Maybe just maybe God just God did make some people that way. I guess you. I, I would assume that you are born asexual. Not necessarily are you born homosexual, but you would have to be born asexual because you you are going against the natural what we would consider the natural longing and desire of the human condition in the human body. That, that's just that's just true. But I don't see the LGBT community including including with open arms asexuals. Why not? Isn't that a little bit um, I don't know bigoted? Just asking, isn't that a little bit bigoted? So it, it, it it's I guess you're you're okay and you're human as long as you want to have sex with something. But if you don't want to have sex with anyone or anything then oh, pfft, no you're not natural you're not normal uh, and thus you should probably have your your liberties impeded in some fashion or, or form are you libertarians behind that too i mean do you think as- asexual shouldn't have the same rights as a homosexual or a bisexual or whatever uh, how about a heterosexual should they be impeded because they're hetero and not not gay hmm 
listening to me, your lovable host, L. Rod, here on The Rod Echo Show. How would you love to shrink your waistlines fast and easy? Visit ShrinkingWaistlines.com. Learn the secrets that so many people are now learning. It's the best natural way to lose weight. Get this. You don't even have to exercise or spend hours at the gym, and you'll never have to starve yourself ever again. Visit ShrinkingWaistlines.com and get the 23-second waist shrinking exercise. That's so simple, you'll be shocked to see the pounds just fall off. That's ShrinkingWaistlines.com. It's time to get into great shape today. It started with a knock, but it wouldn't end there. What happens in the story next, many wouldn't understand and most wouldn't believe. 5 plus 2 equals perfection by Samuel Rosette Jr. is a must read. The scriptures within are reminders of the ancient past and yet intriguingly infuses with texts which stand on the edge of the stage of relevancy. Available online at West Bow Press, Amazon, Books A Million, Barnes & Noble, and SamuelRosetteJr.com. We've all heard of male enhancement, but now there's an expert on true male enhancement in the areas that really count. In Herb Ellis's book, Husband 2.0, Real Male Enhancement, you'll find answers to questions like, why doesn't she want to have sex? A quick start, quick results workout guide. Plus, what you can do as a side hustle to make money now. With all the great tips in this book, every man can benefit. Get the book, Husband 2.0, Real Male Enhancement, on Amazon.com. How would you love to have your very own money-making website? Well, now you can. Just visit OnlineHealthSource.net and become an affiliate, promoting and selling some of today's hottest new products, like anti-aging creams, supplements for him or her, HGH products, weight supplements, and much, much more. That's OnlineHealthSource.net, offering you the chance to earn great money online, promoting products that everyone wants. OnlineHealthSource.net. Sign up today and start your own online business right now. Zero three six seven two zero five seven three. Would you know that that ended up in the bumper rotation right at this particular moment? This this bumper is obviously you know kind of seventy sexy. Uh, and it ends up what I'm talking about. The subject matter that I was talking about last segment. It ends up uh, uh, that ends up in the bumper rotation. Perfect timing. I couldn't have timed that better, even if I tried. That was wonderful. Uh, welcome back, folks. Hey, uh, Boston is um, in the throes, uh, and this, well, this is not, not just Boston, by the way, but Boston right now uh, is in the throes of having troubles with their city budget. By the way, there was, I just heard this morning that somebody else in the mayor's office, Marty Walsh down there in Boston, has just been indicted this morning for corruption. Now, Walsh hasn't been in office very long. How many? Pe- I, I'm, I'm, I don't keep very close tabs on, on what happens in Boston politics. I don't know. Maybe I should. But I don't live in Boston. I don't even live in Massachusetts. So uh, I know Boston is only about an hour away drive from me, but it's close. Uh, but uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't keep tabs on, on the workings of, of the city of Boston's politics. But there have been a number of people in the Walsh administration uh, who have been indicted on some form of corruption already. He hasn't been in office that long. And I guess, from what I gathered from the news this morning, that people have asked uh, the mayor himself if he, if he expected to be indicted on anything, and he would not answer that question. So I... And I guess Marty Walsh, uh, Mayor of Boston, has has some ties with the AFL CIO of the state of Massachusetts. Uh, I'm, I'm not saying that I'm not suggesting that big labor unions are corrupt. No, nobody would ever say that. Um, but um, yeah, there, there's a, there's I've, look. You can say you can say what you will about Mumbles Menino. You know uh, the former mayor, longtime mayor of Boston. What is it? He was mayor for like twenty years. Um, 
And, well, he passed away shortly after leaving office. Uh, he, was, uh, he was very ill. Nobody knew exactly how ill the former mayor was until after he left office. I get, it was obviously pretty bad. And um, you know, it, 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 whether or not you agree with his politics, and even though, even though he was oftentimes hard to understand, I don't know where that accent that he had came from. He didn't have a speech impediment. He was just, I don't, he was just a mush mouth is what they used to call him. Um, but uh, uh, at least he was not ever construed as, be- I don't think there was any co- corruption scandal that ever came close to him in his 20 years in office. I'll give him that. And this guy hasn't even been in office one full term yet, and he's already got the feds breathing down his his administration's neck uh, and indicting people for corruption. I mean, this is just insane. Just completely and totally insane. Uh, But, but, you know, they're all Democrats. Well, so was was, uh, Menino was also a a Democrat. But... um, Look, you know, you don't have to be a Democrat to be corrupt. There, there are corrupt Republicans, too. The problem is, is that uh, with, re- well, it's not a problem. But the thing is, is that with Republicans, oh, yeah, the, the Republicans will, will not circle the wagons. They will do whatever they can. If somebody is, is thought to, to, to be a Republican and to be corrupt, they will do just about whatever they can to, to get rid of that person. Democrats, on the other hand, they will circle the wagons and then just sort of suggest maybe they don't run for re-election if they get to keep hold of their office. You know, like Charlie Rangel. Hey, Charlie, you know, you've been indicted and you've been found guilty and blah, blah, blah of so many different things. Maybe you should just retire now. But while they're telling him maybe he should retire, they're out there saying this is just a Republican witch hunt on, on Rangel when they know it's not. The man did what he did. He admitted to some of what he did. And he's still got a slap on the wrist. No, but that, that's, that's the way it goes for a Dem- See, Democrats can get away with it. Democrats can even lie under oath and get away with it. But if you're a Republican or if you're a rich individual, oh, you're going to go straight to jail if you lie under oath. Martha Stewart, anyone? Versus Bill Clinton? Bill Clinton was, was, was impeached. For lying under oath. But he wasn't convicted in the Senate, but he was still impeached in the House, and he got to stay president. Martha Stewart gets her words twisted. She's accused of lying for something that she really didn't do in the first place. And she goes to jail. Well, it's insider trading, and Mar- Martha Stewart didn't do any insider trading. But she understood the power of the government. She tried, it, it, poor decision on her part. She tried to twist the facts a little bit so it made it look like that she had absolutely, totally, completely nothing to do with it. Even though she did have anything to do with it, she, had to, she tried to lie her way out of it a little bit and twist it, and they caught her doing it, and they sent her to prison for it. I mean, not that she did anything. Oh, no, no, no. Hey, Martha, man, she, she just told the truth. You would have been okay because you didn't do anything. Well, if I had told the truth, you probably would have railroaded me, is what she was saying. And they're, they're, that, they're true. They're, they're right about that. You know, she was right about that. They would have railroaded her somehow. <laughs> but she lied. She twists the truth about something that, in order to protect herself on something that she wasn't even guilty of doing anyway, and they still sent her to jail. Bill Clinton just out and out lies to protect himself from from something that he did do and it did that no just slap on the hand that's it nothing more nothing to see here this is this is just a repu- the great right wing conspiracy out to get bill clinton nobody forced bill clinton to lie nobody forced bill clinton to have you know, extramarital affairs in the Oval Office. There was no conspiracy there. Yeah, well, hey, it was a vast right-wing conspiracy to get Bill. That's all. That's a <laughs> uh, well. Uh, that's that's what they say, folks. That is what they say. I'm not saying it. Bill was guilty and should have been convicted, as far as I'm concerned.
Hi, this is Matt Lagore. Listen to me Fridays, 4 to 5 p.m. on WLMW 90.7. We'll be talking about entrepreneurship, personal growth, business, or anything else inspiring. See you then. Hello, this is Dr. Roger Goslin of the Dr. Roger Goslin Health and Wealth Show. Make sure to tune in Thursdays at 5 o'clock right here at 90.7 FM WLMW to find out more. Coffee change your life. Our gourmet estate-grown coffee is infused with powerful herbs that help you melt fat and keep you from feeling hungry for six plus hours. Get results or your money back. Order yours today at skinnycoffeeshop.com. That's skinnycoffeeshop.com. Tea and water also available. Skinnycoffeeshop.com. Hey folks, if you're anything like me, you spend a lot of time taking photos with your mobile phone or posting them to Facebook or Instagram, well did you know that you can actually be earning hundreds, even thousands of dollars each month just by uploading them to Instagram? Now, most people are skeptical at first, but this system is the real deal. You can get your hands on an evaluation copy of Instagram Profit, and you can be ready to see money flowing into your account. There are over 150 million users on Instagram, yet less than 1% of them are taking advantage of these money-making secrets. Now, if they knew they could be paying their rent, making their car payment, or just snapping photos and putting them onto Instagram, I bet they would be glued to their cell phones. There are only a limited number of these spots available, however. So if you visit MoneyMatters3.com right now, you can sign up to take advantage of all the special discounts. That's right, go to MoneyMatters, the number 3, dot com and get all the info there moneymatters3.com log on now how would you like to stress proof your money and have a road map to ease your financial life well now you can just visit besttoinvest.net they offer today's best source of information and advice on finances for the millennials and iGens you will be provided a key to the system that shows you how to set up your money to automatically fill up your savings set reoccurring payments to bills or credit card without worrying about missing the due dates it will even let you focus on the things that really matter like learning Learning new stuff, hanging out with friends or family. This system works for anyone, even you. That's best to invest.net. Why wait? The time is now to take control of your financial future. Visit best to invest.net today. Tired of paying outrageous prices for Viagra? Well, we have great news for you. Now you can finally get Viagra at huge discounts. Healthy Man allows you to save up to $500 on Viagra. Why pay U.S. pharmacy prices of $15 per pill or more when you can get Viagra for less than $3 a pill? Call today and get 40 Viagra pills for only $99. This can cost as much as $600 at your local pharmacy. You can't afford not to call us. If you want Viagra at the lowest prices, never pay $15. $15 a pill pharmacy prices again. Get Viagra for less than $3 a pill. Call 800-595-2614 today and save up to $500 and get 40 pills for just $99. Healthy Man is fast, easy, and affordable. Operators are waiting at 595-2614 to take your call now. Call 800-595-2614. That's 800-595-2614. Again, 800-595-2614. Bring the rain. Six zero three six seven two zero five seven three is the number to call. Ooh yeah! You know you want to call. You know you want to talk talk to me. You know if you're a liberal, you know you just want to call and yell at me. You know you do. Come on. 
Go ahead. I'll let you. I'll let you rant and rave. I mean, that's that's part of the fun is listening to dissenting beliefs. But you know what? You better come. I'm just. You know, I always got to forewarn the liberal. You better come loaded with more than just emotion. Really, you should. You, you, not not that you should. You better. You just. Yeah. You, you need. You need to. Because you know people people who have facts over feelings will destroy the people with feelings every time. That's just the way of the world. Sorry. Um, I, I know there right now there are a lot of people that are touchy-feely that are in, in leadership roles all across the globe in powers of, you know, in the, they're in leadership roles of government all over the place. But, hey, look, we, look what we just had. We just had the British say, you know, uh, facts over feelings with the Brexit thing. And there, and there, and there <laughs> was, <laughs> what was somebody's? A friend of mine was saying, well, somebody on, on Facebook was saying, yeah, the, uh, the Scottish are feeling all butthurt because, you know, the, the, the English didn't go along with what they wanted. i uh, like, well, that's kind of an interesting way to put it. Um, you know, and they're, they're, they're kind of mad at Donald Trump because of what Donald, Tr- what Donald Trump said while he was over there opening a golf course. Well, you know... <laughs> It, it, Donald is going to be Donald, uh, it, and I, I think half the time Donald Trump just says something just to get attention. Real, I do really. He's a master at, at getting attention, uh, and, and I think he, I think he knows exact. I think ninety percent of the time he knows exactly what he's saying and how he's saying it, and there's no faux pas. I, I, I really do. I, I but I think, I think some people are right. He has to get off of that mode, uh, of, of, um, of. In 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 the in the pol- well for better or for worse he's got to get in the political mode he does I, I think he really does um, now I don't mean political mode mode by going out and start lying to people like a lot of politicos do now I'm just saying he needs to start really weighing his words carefully. Uh, so, so people have well, you know, liberals are always going to misconstrue and twist whatever you say. But he needs to be he needs to be able to say that he has been very clear. And and oftentimes Donald Trump is not clear, but he's not clear on purpose because he knows it will get him attention. If he's kind of vague, or or if he hints in one direction, um, uh, you know. He, even based on what he's saying, you really understand that he's not going in that direction. But if he kind of hints that that's the direction he's going, it gets him attention. You know, that's a self-aggrandizing or self-promotional mode. And that's something that he's that, uh, that as president, um, he's got to get away from. He's got to start being more clear and careful with what he says. I, I agree with that. Uh, Donald Trump really does need to be more clear and concise with his words, I know he can do it. Uh, he's done. He's done it before. He's been clear and concise before. He can. He can do it any time he wants to. And I think. I think now is the time for him to start really do it. Because if he starts doing that, as as we, uh, and, and and he, as he gets the nomination, he will pull away from Hillary. Because people, Hillary, who's
But if you just go back to the days of being clear and concise... recounts uh, from from left-leaning publications like the New York Times and and Because those who know, and, and, and the ACU and, and a bunch of other Chads were supposed to be for George. So Don really did You know, pontification. Or, or he makes up some word like that. And they just, they just, George, but I think George Bush actually liked playing with people that way. Be more like a Democrat.
Uh, there are so many polls out there. Where there's a poll out there that that's got him in a dead heat. There's a poll out there that says Hillary's up 12 points. I don't know where that one came from. There's a poll out there that says Donald's up by five points. I mean, I don't. It... No, this poll is. I mean, I decided I was going to study this poll. I wanted to. The next question, though, is Now, in the All you got to do is just is just talk to a talk to a typical on the street liberal, and you will see why. Because one, only
CB, CNP, uh, you know, CNN poll says 